Hello guys, today I am going to talk about how to download a file using Angular and Express Backend. So it's actually fairly simple. Uh, when you download a file, remember Angular is a front-end framework. Uh, you don't want to visit a website or use some web application, then that application or website dump whole chunk of files in your file system uh, or st even steal files from your cell phone or tablet. So the front-end framework has no access to a client's file system. Uh, so there's only very limited things you can do. One thing is to open the file with your browser. Uh, if it's an image like JPEG or it's PDF or some other format that uh, your browser understands, you can just open that with your browser. Another option is to download the file to your download folder. Yeah, every computer should have a download folder, right? So i give you one example. If you want to download this cat5.jpg, one option is click on the view. Okay, a new browser window opens, and that's the file I just downloaded. Uh, you can right-click and copy or something, whatever you want to do, yeah. Another option is save as. You click on this button. What happens on my download folder, there is this uh, CAD5 JPEG, yeah. So that's it. You can do two different things. One is to open it in a browser window. The other is to save it to a folder on your computer hard drive. Now, how do you do it? The first step is to create a Express Backend, and it's super, super easy. Just one method, get API. So if a client a browser send a request to get some file, and it should send the file name or some other attributes as parameters in its HTTP get request. For example, here I use file name as a parameter, query parameter. And based on that query parameter, the backend should be able to identify which file the client is requesting. So you construct the file path. And then based on this file path, you use a single method, response.download. That method with the file path, you will be able to serve the file. So that's the backend, super, super easy. Get the file name, get the file path, and respond. Respond and response.download is the single method you need to use, super easy. So on the front end, you need to do a little bit more. The first is to create a service. This is optional. Obviously, you can just call that HTTP GET request in your component. But we know as Angular developers, it is not a good practice. You want to create a separate service to access the server. So you create, create a separate service, and that service has a HTTP call method, GET method. And in that GET method, you need to create a parameter, which is called a new HTTP parameter set file name equals some argument. So this is basically you want to tell the server which file you want because the server may have 100 different files. Then based on that parameter, you make an HTTP GET request with the URL, basically your server and its endpoint, right, where I can get this file. And then with this option, which means the parameter query file name is equal to some file, and the response type is blob. That's the response type for file because you can make HTTP request for a text, for JSON, for some other stuff, uh, like uh, XML, uh, XML, or some other data type, but the default is JSON. So here, if you want, you're want, you getting a file, you need to uh, stipulate the, the response type is blob, blob. So once the service sends this request, the file is sent back. And how do you consume that file? You pass that file from the service as an observable to your component. So in your component, you need to do a couple of things. The first, to create a new blob object. So this blob object is a JavaScript object. You don't have to import anything to use it. It's a class native to JavaScript. So new blob, um, you pass the response in an array, and then you stipulate the file type. It's image slash JPEG. Because if you want to display this file in your browser, the browser needs to know what kind of file it is. Even if the file extension is something like cat5.jpg, remember on the Linux system, the file extension means nothing. Um, you can have a PDF file with extension.jpg. It doesn't care. So you need to tell explicitly uh, the browser what kind of file it is. Uh, here is a documentation for all the type of files, media types. You can see all kinds of files. If you click on image, oh, the font is a little bit small. Let's increase the font a little bit. You can, under image, there is a a whole bunch of stuff, and JPEG is one of them. So where is that? After increase the fonts, this is audio file. Yep. So here is the image. 
click. Here is the JPEG format. Yeah, so JPEG is one of the media types. So you should just write this. Create a new blob which accepts the first argument is it the response, the file. And the second argument tells the browser it's an image, JPEG file. And then you have two options. One is to open that uh, browser window, a new browser window, um, and then display this file, like this guy. Yeah. So that's this line of code, two lines of code. Another option is to in install a file saver uh, package. So this is installed on your front end under your Angular, not your Express backend. So npm install file saver. And then you can just import this file saver guy and use file saver .save as a single method uh, with this return blob object and uh, the file name. Um, so because you want to save the file as some name. So here I save the file as whatever the downloaded name. So that when we download the cat5.jpg, cat it is saved as cat5.jpg. Or you can use a different name. Doesn't matter. You can save it as a something else. Yeah. So basically, supply the blob object and file name. That's everything you need to do. So now let's look at the code. Uh, so here's the backend. It's super super easy. The backend is basically Express backend API for file download. A app get. You have endpoint slash download. That's what. That's where your client is going to visit. And the request and response. The you create a file path. Here I use the client slash source slash uh, assets slash image. You have to make this folder uh, static if you want to save file out of this folder. So here you can see I have this express app use express dot static and a file path. Um, if you use express generator, the public folder this guy is automatically static. So you can you need to save your files to be served in some static folder? Yeah. So here. Based on the file name I receive, I grab that file from my static folder, and I serve that file. This is a simplified version, of course. You need to write some other code. Like if the file doesn't exist, you need to send some other response. Like, hey, file doesn't exist. But here it's a super simplified version. So a single method is just a download method of the response. Super super easy, right? This file is the file path. So the back end, that's super easy. Now let's look at the front end. Uh, the front end, as I mentioned, there are two things. One is the uh, service called file download file. Yeah. So this service is super super easy. You have the URL, basically your yeah server and its endpoint, and then you have this single HTTP GET method with the URL and options. So the options is just one parameter called file name, which it's a string. You get this string from your component. Yeah. So this is the service. And then another option, just a file type is blob. But remember, you cannot put the response type blob in under this options. It will confuse TypeScript. So you have to write the other options like parameters here. Use the three dot and then the response type blob. Okay, that's the service. Super easy. Now the component is the download component. It's not difficult at all. Uh, so there are this method called Return blob, which basically you pass it a f response. It's the basically that's the stuff you receive from the server. It will create a new blob object and pass the response as an argument and pass the type as another argument. Here it's a JPEG. And then that return block function is called by either of the two functions, the download and download two. So this download one takes that blob, uh, make that API call in the service, grab the file and pass that file to this uh, blob. So this this written blob returns that blob object, which is the file object, and together with the type of the file, and then you can just, as I mentioned earlier, just create a URL and then open a new window to display that file. So constant URL equals window URL create object URL. And then window dot open URL. So simple enough. The second function basically same thing. Grab that blob. And also you want to use the file name. And use the guy you imported file saver. You import it. npm install file saver package and pass this file saver into the component. Import star as file saver from this file saver package. And then you can use the file saver save as method to save that blob guy. Uh, with this file name, with the original file name, or you can name it whatever you want. 
So that's pretty much it. Just backend server file, and you have service to make the HTTP get method, and uh, you have uh, this get blob guy to convert that response to blob object, and you can display the blob object in the browser window, or you can save it to your download folder with the file name. Okay, so, so that's it, the file download. Uh, super easy, right?